Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh leaves from Miniart. This is quite an unusual thing because here we get a 135 scale market card with vegetables and this is might be an interesting build not only for figure builders but also maybe for some armor builders because they can place it beside the tank maybe. So that's why it is quite a special kit and let's not forget that this is a plastic release just like any other uh, set from Miniart and what was even more interesting for me is to see how they realized this so as you can see we have separate vegetables inside this small squares so maybe they are molded as a separate pieces maybe they are molded as a single pieces and that's exactly what we will be checking today but you might notice that the size of this box is standard for Miniart here you can see comparison with my hand kit number is 356 to three. Here on the side we have some other kits which we reviewed recently and you can find it easily on our YouTube channel. On the rear side we have assembly manual which is quite simple. You can see that you have to assemble the card, you have to assemble. So we have separate pieces of vegetables as far as you can see and that will be a lot of fun. We will see now in the box. Here as well we have a color chart. As you can see it is provided in several manufacturer designations which is really cool because it will uh, help you to get the right paint shade in case for example you are using Mr. Color not Tamiya Colors. So it's really a handy thing. And here on the other side we have some safety devices but that's nothing interesting. That's why we are opening it. It's a side opening box, taking it out. As you can see only one plastic bag with all sprues and box is empty. So we place it somewhere beside. And this is a sealed plastic bag. As you can see we have some plastic parts. I do not see any decals or P parts. Do not be, let's say, do not laugh at that because maybe some, um, I would say, fine features on the you know, fruits, they can be copied with P parts, but here Minyard decided not to resort to such a uh, solution and that's why we have plastic only. So now I'm opening this sealed plastic bag and we will take a closer look together. So all in all we have four plastic frames. I'm going to start with the biggest one and then gradually we will move on to other components as well. So let's zoom in as much as we can. Here you can see these parts for the cart and wheels are molded as a single piece parts on four attachment points. We have wood texture on the panels. We have also this, let's say, spring. Actually, these are leaf springs. I mean, actual ones. They're pre-molded together with card bars, together with this stop bar. And maybe I can zoom in even further. Well, that's pretty much all, so I guess we should take it into the hands. And if camera, yeah. Now you should be able to see that everything looks really good. Here we have a wood texture which I was mentioning before. If I flip it over here you can check these parts from the opposite side. Next we continue with wheels which are also looking great and I think it's just a matter of careful painting and maybe weathering and then you will have a really nice result in 135 scale. And yes, again I will remind that this is a plastic kit in 135 scale and you get all this stuff out of the box. But that's not all, we also get a pair of this tiny spruce. So I will show only one because it carries the same set of parts. Maybe I'll zoom in as much as I can so that camera will be showing the a bit more zoomed in version. So here we have these boxes. From what I can see inside we do not have any texture but it's really cool that they are molded as a single piece part. So basically you just have to install this frame on the top and you have a normal typical vegetable box in 135 scale. Here you can check it also from the opposite side. And here we have some features, so it's really great looking thing in 135 scale. But that's also not all because we also have one more plastic sprue which is relatively the same as the first one we saw. Here it is. So here we have the, let's say, the main question of this kit. As you can see, all items 
here are molded separately, but here we have them molded as a single piece parts. So let's zoom in a bit more. Maybe I'll bring it again closer on my hand so that it will be more visible. And here you can check them closer. Obviously pumpkins will have to be glued out of two house. We also have this riced borders which will help you with alignment which is really great because it will uh, speed up process a bit here we have separate vegetables so we have cucumbers we have also some tomatoes peppers and other stuff and that's really cool because it might be handy in your diorama obviously you don't have to place them all into one box uh, even though it might sound stereotypical but you can use it in a next project just place some tomato on the tank for example it might be also a sm quite funny thing to do and in 135 scale it's pretty much universal uh, accessory set which can be useful in several projects in a row so it should be already available you can get it in model mx for example so it should be already um, let's say sold on this web shop and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!